How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Elvis Junction Reviews. Today, we're looking at another Athern Raider Roll product, but it's a bit of an older product. We are looking at an Athern Raider Roll Oklahoma Gas and Electric Beth Gone Cold Porter number 3406. And this is one of the older um, logo boxes you can see. And it has a coal load included, which is really cool. And fun fact, this car was custom weathered by a friend of mine. And it is really cool. So let's not waste any time and let's get this sucker out of its box. Here is our exploded diagram. As you see, it's a lot. That exploded diagram is a lot bigger. Well, actually, it was folded differently. And as you can see, we have some good detail for this car. All right, here it is in its protective packaging. Let's lift this part off and, and fold the plastic back. And there you go. You can see quite the, quite the weathering uh, right there. So let's pull this sucker out. Let's get that plastic out of the way. And let's get on to some details, starting with the front. All right, so now we're looking at what I classify as the front of the car. Starting at the top, we'll work our way down to the bottom. It's there, but there is a grab iron right there. It just kind of blends in with the top of the car here because of the weathering. We do have, but there is more grab irons that work their way from the top down to the bottom of the car here. Moving along this way, we have our we have our brake wheel and the brake chain. Behind it is some of the air brake um, tubing and piping right there. Here is a little walkway. It's etched metal, by the way, so that's really nice. Basically, what you would do is let's say you need to get from this side to the other side. You climb up on this ladder here, and you climb up using these grab irons here. You shimmy your way across, grab onto these grab irons, and then climb down just like that. And, and also inside here, you can actually see more of the air brake hosing and tubing. Up here, we have the numbers here, 306, 3406 for OGEX, and we have some more um, technical uh, specs right below the numbers here. And here is our... Athern coupler. It's pretty much the same on the other side, the only difference being there is no braking or air braking um, stuff in there too. And as you can see, if I'm correct, yes, this side has a different color on the side of the car here. All right, so now let's look, uh, let's get into the side detail. So before we actually get into the side, side detail, I wanna really quickly go over the uh, weathering of this car. Basically, the whole um, the whole idea of this weathering is that is to represent just how dirty these coal cars can get after they've been used a long time. So we have a lot of dirt, we have a lot of grime, there's rust, and just absolute, it's just absolutely filthy, but it looks great regardless. And as you see, my friend did a really good job. He took a lot of time, and as you can see, we have like marks here on that side, and there's also some more marks on the other side to just represent like mud and dirt and all that kind of stuff that gets picked up as the car is in motion. But anyway, let's now get into the side. Starting here at this side, we have more grab irons that work their way from the from about halfway length of the car down to the bottom here. We have some more illegible writing here. Here's our reporting marks, OGEX 3406. We have our load limits and our load weights right here. Some more detail, some more illegible writing here and here. Moving along here, I believe that is the Beth Gone logo right here. I'm not sure. Uh, I was right. Uh, anyway, we have some more, more details here. Moving along, we have some more specs about the car here. And we have a full length, don't focus on me. We have another set of full length grab irons that work their way from the top down to the bottom of the car. All right. Now let's look at the bottom here. As you can see, there is our metal chassis, and you can actually see the dirt and grime that has been put on these wheels and the rust. And don't worry, that's not real rust, so this car's not gonna snap in half while it's on the tracks. But here is the opening. Basically, these will flip open that way and they just drop their contents. All right, so now let's look at the interior of the car. To get into the interior of the car, we have to do one little simple thing, and that is called release the coal load and there let's actually quickly move that here's our coal load it's it's all plastic but it looks really realistic which is really cool about that all right so let's look on the inside not a lot going on here but there's our bulkhead um represented representations here with the structural supports and as you can see it's fairly clean in there and the coal pretty much just it has no problem just sliding on in et voila all right so let's get into my final thoughts 
When this car was brand new, it looked pretty good, but then after my friend did some weathering to it, it made it look even better. I high, if you're a if you're a big fan of coal trains, you definitely should go and buy some Beth Gone Coal Porters because they look absolutely great, and Atherton does a really good job making these, and I just highly recommend them. But anyway, if you enjoyed, please hit that like button and also subscribe if you have not. And hit the notification bell to know when I upload. I am upload on Mondays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So definitely check it, uh, tune in on those days and at those times. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.